Darling and Darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing a stuff haul. So this is all the not book, but also it is book or media related stuff that I got in the months of January through March of 2018, excluding Comic-Con because that was its own separate separate video. The complete list of what I got will be in the description below if you want to go looking for them yourselves because they're all pretty much amazing or I wouldn't have spent my money on them. Okay, so the first one that I got is Thor Ragnarok. It is on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital editions. I love Thor Ragnarok. It is my favorite, my favorite superhero movie ever right now. I am obsessed with it. I mean, Loki is my favorite comic book character, so obviously I was going to love it because Loki's in it, plus the Hulk's in it, and you know, Thor's not too bad, especially MCU Thor. MCU Thor is my favorite Thor. He is less dumb than comic book Thor. Let me just throw that out there. Um, also, we've got Hela, their sister, coming in and trying to take over all of Asgard. She's pretty much evil to the point that Loki looks like the good guy. Seriously. Um, I particularly love Loki's story arc in this, and it's exactly what I want for him reading all the comics as he's, like, my favorite character. So, yay! Loki gets his happy ending, sort of. It also introduces Valkyrie, who is one of these elite female warriors, um, from Asgard, but she's uh, been stranded on this planet called Sakaar and uh, isn't necessarily quite so into Asgard anymore. We also see Hulk and the Planet Hulk storyline takes place in this, and we get to see the Hulk in all these gladiatorial fights, and we get to see Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster. And it is so hilarious and has such an awesome soundtrack, and the fight scenes are good and don't drag on too long and aren't too boring, unlike DC stuff. Um... Just everything about Ragnarok is my favorite. This edition, which I got at Target, also has a gallery book which has background stuff about the making of the movie. So notes about costumes and sets and stuff, which I kind of liked and I'm super into. It was only a couple more dollars than buying the regular set also. And honestly, let's be realistic, it's got Loki in it, so that was worth my extra money because... I love him so much, guys. You don't even know. Loki's my favorite. So then I also got Star Wars The Last Jedi on Blu-ray with digital edition. I'm a little bit bummed that this one did not come with the DVD since it costs the same as all the sets that have DVDs in them also. But realistically, I probably don't use the DVD. I either put the Blu-ray in the Blu-ray player to watch it on the television or use the digital copy to watch it on my computer. So probably not the saddest loss, but I also kind of feel like uh, if I'm paying the same amount, why isn't there a DVD in it? Okay, that little gripe aside, this movie is pretty much awesome. It is Star Wars Episode Eight. It is the one that follows A Force Awakens, and it has Rey, Kylo Ren in it, and they're kind of competing versions of what they think the Force is and trying to find balance in the universe. We get to find out way more about, well, everyone. Um, but my favorite parts were definitely finding out more about Rey and her backstory and who she is as a person, and also finding out about why Kylo Ren is the way he is. It's also Carrie Fisher's last run as Princess Leia, and it's so sad, and it makes me, like, cry throughout this entire movie. And we get to find Luke Skywalker, finally. Like, A Force Awakens was them trying to find Luke, and now they've actually found Luke, and that was fun. And, of course... Other favorites in here, Finn, Poe, BB-8, Chewbacca, and we get introduced to a few other characters, and it's lots of fun and everything that I love about Star Wars. I mean, my favorite movies are still going to be the original trilogy, especially um, Return of the Jedi and The Emperor Empire Strikes Back, but it's a pretty fun ride, and it's definitely, like, I, I liked, and I definitely liked The Last Jedi. I know that some people are like, it's not that great, but yay, feminism and women being in charge and actually getting to see more of the galaxy. We get to see some people who aren't part of the Rebellion or the Empire and what everyday life is like for some people in the Empire. Um, I wish we got to see more of that and we do a little bit in the Clone Wars and I'm assuming Rebels, but I haven't seen that show yet. But it's fun to see it in the movies and to see it on the big screen and to remember that not everybody is caught up in this grand battle, like, there are parts of the galaxy where life is just going on and everything else is just happening around them. Um, it's definitely got a strong social justice 
uh, theme going through here and some strong feminism and I am digging that. And Leia is pretty much the most awesome character ever. I, I love Princess Leia. I'm gonna miss her terribly. So surprisingly that's it for movies and shows that I got this, this time. What I did do was go and buy some toys. Um, so the first one is a Thor and Loki micro machines kit where we have Loki and Thor with their tiny little legs and their little carts. Mostly I bought this set because it has comic book accurate Loki in it. And also he's really cute with his short legs. I started calling him mini Loki. Um, as opposed to my regular Lego Loki and uh, Ragnarok Lego Loki. Um, so it was also only a $10 set. So it's not like I spent a ton of money just to get this one minifigure. So I don't feel bad about this at all. It's amazing. Um, so yeah. I also got a bunch of Lego Dimension sets. Um, technically, I think my brother bought most of these, but since the Lego Dimensions game is mine, uh, they're kind of my sets, right? So the first one is the story pack for the Ghostbusters 2016 movie, the one that follows the female Ghostbusters. I love that movie. Also, it was on clearance, so it was like $15, so why not? It comes with Abby Yates and an Ecto-1, and I you get to play through the movie so that's pretty cool to have extra levels and then i got a bunch of fun packs which are the ones that have a character and then a uh, vehicle so got one for fantastic beasts of where to find them which has tina and sweet evil which is the one that i'm most excited about i now have a wizard guys i mean besides gandalf that came with it but like another wizard and tina's pretty much awesome and we also got the lord of the rings one with gimel in it and a lego Chima with lava. I honestly don't know who that is or what he does, but he was like, I think my brother said he was like $3, so why not? Yay, getting to play more Lego Dimensions. Maybe I'll play it. We'll see. My game is kind of buggy, and also it's less fun by yourself, so you gotta find somebody to play with you. So. Also, I think my brother would get mad if I went through and just assassinated levels in our joint mission without him. Okay, so the last toys that we got were all from Toys R Us and their clearance going on a business sale. I don't think Toys R Us actually knows how going on a business sales are supposed to work because putting the store 10% off isn't really clearing out the store. Like Texas 8% where this store exists. So I I don't really feel like, okay, I'm actually paying what that, what that price on the thing lists. Um, I was not impressed with that. Also, we went back a week later and the entire store is supposed to be 10 to 30% off. And yet the Lego construction sets were only 5% off. So uh, they don't know how to do math, apparently. And also the first weekend, the Lego sets were 10% off and then they just went up. So I, I don't know that Toys R Us is actually going out of business or that they know how going out of business sales work. So anyway, we only got like four toys from them. Um, the first two are these Playmation um, game pieces. They're part of a video game. I think it's a PlayStation game. I honestly don't care. I'm not playing the game. I got them because they make pretty awesome action figures and look nice on my bookshelves. Um, so the two characters I got were Black Widow and Vision. And honestly, they were $2 each before they had the clearance on them. So for less than four bucks, I can, I can deal with these two. Um, I also got this Cthulhu figurine. He's actually, I guess, a dark Cthulhu. I didn't know that there were other versions of Cthulhu. I haven't read enough Lovecraft to know that, but he looks adorable. And also, I feel like I won't actually be able to find him. Like, I've never seen him before. I don't think I'll ever be able to find him again. So I got him. He was like 10 bucks. And then I also got this Gizmo plush. He's from Gremlins, which if you guys have not seen the movie Gremlins, is amazing totally go watch it i love this sci-fi movie it's about this kid who gets this mysterious asian animal and this warnings that come with it about not feeding it or getting it wet and then of course he does and it starts replicating and spawning evil gremlins that like to destroy electronics and chaos and i love it i love the chaos aspect but then i also love gizmo the original one who's just so cute and fluffy and adorable so I have a gizmo, guys. That's like the best thing ever. I've wanted a gizmo since I was a little kid. Like seriously, since I was like five. So 
I have achieved one of my lifetime dreams and I now have Gizmo. I'm just so excited. So guys, that was the not books that I have acquired within the last three months that I thought were also kind of book related because it's a booktube channel. Um, <laughs> let me know if you also have any things or they look awesome or just how cool is Thor and Star Wars because they're both pretty much amazing. Although obviously Thor Ragnarok is way better than Star Wars because it's like freaking perfect. That movie is amazing. I really love Thor Ragnarok guys in case you guys cannot tell. That's like my bomb. Okay so thanks for watching guys. I love spending my money on useless junk in case you can't tell. And peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.